What's up Madden fans? Welcome back. Today we are taking a look at our Madden 16 bunch scheme. We're going to show you the depth chart and just some of the thought processes I want you to be aware of uh, when going in. We're using the Dallas Cowboys for this scheme. This can fit with any team uh, and just kind of format your roster accordingly. But what we want to look for first and foremost our quarterback. We want to look for someone with a little bit of mobility just in case we need to get out of the pocket. And then the uh, main attribute that we really look at is the deep throw accuracy. Uh, in my opinion it's very important uh, to have uh, an 85 or above in the deep throw if possible um, but however um, the short throw and middle throw are important as well and so you see we're actually going to put Dustin Vaughn as our backup instead of Brandon Whedon because he has more mobility and also has a better middle throw accuracy than Brandon Whedon does and so that's what we're going to do what we're going to do there running back uh, for the Cowboys it's a no-brainer they get the best one in the in the game right now DeMarco Murray um, but for running back what you really want to look for is a catch rating 75 and higher, and uh, and then also and, you know anything else off that is good. Uh, I like catching traffic 70 and above, but like you see here, uh, that's why we got Joseph Randall uh, backing him up. And uh, so that's really what we're rocking with there, running back-wise. Fullback, we don't have one in this. And so wide receivers, this is where we really want you to focus in on. This is uh, where it really gets important uh, for you going forward here. So first and foremost, what you want to look at is the number one receiver is going to be your solo receiver on the right side of the field. Uh, for Dallas Cowboys, we really want that to be someone like Des Bryant, uh, someone who has good catch in traffic, and, and it's just your number one guy. This is your best receiver, uh, your biggest target, the guy that you can throw one-on-one -on -one jump balls to. That's who we're looking for here. Uh, this is the guy that has kind of got to be your most reliable target, uh, but also just a bigger receiver. So a Brandon Marshall or a or an Alshon Jeffrey or A.J. Green, those guys, that's who goes here uh, for you. The biggest attribute, in my opinion, is catch in traffic. I think that it needs to be very high, and so that's why we do what we do there. Second receiver, this is very important. This is your Randall Cobb, your Wes Welker for Dallas, your Cole Beasley. This is your kind of slot receiver. He, I personally like him to be shorter. I like him to be five foot five to six foot tall. And I also really like him to have good catch in traffic, good route running, and then decent speed. Uh, if you can get a fast guy here, uh, that's what you're looking for as well. But I really like him to be shorter and uh, just more agile receiver. Uh, I like the agility to be up. You see that Cole Beasley has really good agility, uh, better than Terrence Williams, and I really like that rating for him and what we're going to be using him for uh, in this position. Third receiver, this is your big play receiver. This is the guy that you you take your shot plays to. This is your uh, Terrence Williams. This is this is where you put your guys like uh, Devin uh, Devin Street, but then the guy for the Packers, uh, Devonte Adams. That's where these guys go. Um, this is the kind of receiver you want a guy with high spectacular catch. Um, that's really all we're looking for. So a spectacular catch rating and if we can get good catch in traffic and speed we'll take it but more than more so than anything we look for a high spectacular catch rating tight end um, this is what we look for uh, you know we want to look for our best tight end uh, but really quite frankly the biggest rating we look for in our tight ends is catching traffic and you see Jason Witten is no slouch at 92 overall uh, we like bigger tight ends bulky guys big six foot six six five guys guys that can really be possession receivers for us as a primary target for moving the chains in this offense and so that's why uh, Jason Witten is so essential for this and, and guys like Antonio Gates and and guys like um, uh, like Jimmy Graham that's who we're looking for here guys like that that fit that mold uh, as a good 6'5 pass receiving tight end uh, so that's what we look for in our depth chart and uh, I just wanted to share that with you uh, we will be jumping into our full game after the scheme is fully shown uh, but I did want to show you the depth chart to give you kind of a glimpse uh, as to what are some of the things we're going to be doing in this offense so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it remember this is a preview of what we're going to be doing in